Hello, my loyal subjects. It is I, your queen, and my bangs are getting too long. I honestly don't really know if I'm gonna cut them or if I'm gonna just grow them out, because then I could put them like here. Anyways, I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru right now because I'm gonna try the new pecan crunch oat milk lattes. And listen, I'm not really a pecan pie girl because I don't like nuts. But uh, when I used to work at Dunkin Donuts, um, we used to have a pecan syrup and I never really tried it, but a lot of peasants liked it. So maybe the Starbucks pecan crunch oat milk latte will be good. And I got two of them to try. I'm trying the iced one and the hot one, even though it's 80 degrees. <sighs> so here I am being the test monkey. And in like two hours, I have to get my eye exam because I'm getting new lenses for my glasses because I haven't had it updated in a while. Also, another thing I'm going to be trying is the new caramel apple spice nothing bundt cake. I saw a video of this lady on TikTok complaining that her Starbucks drink wasn't like mixed up. She was like, I spent $7.50 on this drink and they can't even mix it up for me. And then it wasn't even for her. It was like for her boyfriend or something. And um, I like checked the comments because I thought people were going to be like, oh yeah, you know, they, they should mix it up. Like, that's crazy. I checked the comments and everyone was disagreeing with her and they were like, oh, you're so entitled, lady. First world problems, which it is a first world problem, but that doesn't mean it's not a problem. It's still a problem. So I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm an evil woman, but I agree with that Starbucks lady. They should mix it the hell up. But then I read the comments as I was scrolling, and apparently, um, I guess the baristas aren't allowed to mix it up or something. That's what one comment said. They said that they work there and they're not allowed, which is crazy. It's a coffee shop, lady. You better mix that damn drink. I'm just joking. But I'm like, I know you peasants in the comments are lying. You wouldn't be like, oh, you know, it's okay. This is just a first one. You wouldn't say that. You'd probably be upset, at least in your head. Today. Hi, um, I actually have a mobile order for Cat. Cat, yeah, we got in here. Okay, thanks so much. Hopefully this coffee is really good. It's like 1 p.m. basically, and I haven't had any coffee, I know. I sound like a millennial right now. It's 1 p.m. and I haven't had my coffee, so you know what that means. It means you're all getting sent to my dungeon. Okay, you guys, it's my turn to get my potion. Hold up, this better be good or else. Too many crickets, I'm scared. Hi. Uh, thank you so much. Good, good. How about yourself? Good, thank you. Do you need a straw today? Um, sh I think just one, probably. Just one? Yeah. Or should I get two? Oh, you are? All right, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. Damn, honey. They don't hook me up with a foam. Hold up. Let me show you this shit. This actually looks pretty good. I'm kind of excited. I'm just going to stay in this parking lot. Um, I need to find a shady spot. <sighs> no, not my house. This is, oh, there's not a bit, oh, yeah. This is the venti pecan oat latte. As you can see, I think there's some foam here. Let's try her. First time, first time. Also, I got the hot one too. Um, I wasn't gonna get the hot one because I usually like cold drinks. And I was like, you know, it's probably gonna taste the same. But then I thought about the little peasants out there that do drink the hot drinks. And you know, some people are sensitive to ice. So I care about the people. Let's try this pecan latte. This is for you, mom. You better welcome me back into the family. Okay, so far I just got like, well actually, I don't think that's foam. This is just milk. This actually isn't foam. Or maybe it is. So I don't know if this is foam but I'm pretty sure it's just milk because it's not foamy, if that makes sense. But it's really good. It just tastes like creamer right now. Maybe if I mix her up. But it does taste like some good pecan creamer. Now let me mix her up. See, this is what that lady on TikTok was talking about. She was like, I pay $7 for a drink. I expect it to be mixed up. And at first I was like, you know, what is she talking about? Maybe it was like a macchiato where there's supposed to be half milk, half coffee. But... This isn't a macchiato, honey. So let's see how she tastes. Oh my god! 
The baristas are listening. I'm sorry for talking smack. Uh, it's okay. It's just some milk. This is really good, actually. Oh, lordy. Okay, first of all, this is really good. It's not like a strong coffee flavor, or maybe I wouldn't say it's a strong coffee flavor. It has a nice pecan, buttery, sweet flavor to it. But would I get it again? Maybe. Hmm. This actually is really good. If you like pe pecan and like mapley, buttery, that kind of stuff, you would like this a lot, I'd say. I would usually get the brown sugar shaken espresso, and I think that one tastes more strong compared to this. This is more like a sweet treat drink. Um, there's also coffee in here, so who knows? Maybe it will make me hyper. I definitely feel like my withdrawal is going away. Oh, lot. this is so good. I personally would probably add another shot of espresso in this or less creamer just because this is really sweet. It's one of those coffees where it's like, it does not taste like coffee really. It tastes more like a, like a pecan buttery. My mom would like this. I think you would like this mom because you put like 20 pumps of syrup in your drink. With this, do not put extra pumps, okay? You guys, if you're out there and you're getting coffee and you're putting extra pumps for it to be sweeter, do not do it with this or else your drink will literally just taste like milk. The hot one. Let's see if there's any foam in here. Mm, actually, no, there's not really any foam. Well, hold up. I don't know if I like this one better. They're basically the same thing, but hot and cold. You guys, this hot one is really good. I don't even know which one I like better. Hold up, they're basically the same thing. I, I do prefer ice drinks more, so. See this, here's the thing. I like the hot one better because it is a sweet drink and um, it doesn't taste so much like coffee. It tastes more like pecan, buttery. You know, some coffees, it's like you have a hint of pecan it is in here, girl. Okay, it's like you have a hint of coffee in this, basically. And um, this one, I like it better because it just makes me feel like I'm walking out in the cold and I'm getting cuddled by Mr. Starbucks. Do you know Starbucks was actually named after Moby Dick? I'd say that's pretty perverted if you ask me. Ah, um, if I were to be harsh on this drink, I would say it tastes like pure creamer, really sweet coffee. So if you're one of those people that like your coffee super sweet, and I'm not saying this is super sweet, but I'm saying it's more creamer than coffee, if that makes sense. For example, if you're my sister, you little I think the hot coffee and the iced coffee taste exactly the same. So it depends what you're in the mood for. I like cold coffees better just because I'm a cold hearted bitch. My final thoughts on the pecan crunch oat milk latte. It's really milky, it's really creamy, it's really butter pecan -y. You can taste the pecan taste in there, but what it's not is coffee if you know what I mean. You can't really taste the espresso. You could feel it, maybe you could taste a little bit of it. This would probably be for you if you're like a sweet coffee person. If you're a person that just wants something strong and not so milky, this probably isn't your choice. I wouldn't get this regularly, just because I'm more of a strong woman. Long and strong, of course. Oh lord. Okay, actually, this is really good, you guys. Maybe I would get this regularly. No, maybe not. Eight out of 10. Okay, the next thing I'm super excited to try, I've been waiting all morning to get this, is the Caramel Apple Cider Mini Nothing Bundt Cake. Now with this cake, it is only available for like the next two weeks, I think, so. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be gone in like a week and a half. So if you do wanna try it, if this is good, um, you should get it while it's there. 
because this is just a pop-up flavor. This is what she looks like. Oh, she smells like a damn freaking Thanksgiving feast. Oh, look at her. Hold up. She actually smells like, like a Thanksgiving feast. Oh, okay. I don't know what to expect from this, but it smells amazing. Oh, look at her. Let's dig in. Oh, Lordy. She's fallen off the bone. <sighs> okay, look at look at that. Oh, look at her. Get the defibrillator. Jesus. This is sweet. Okay. The frosting is sweet. It, see, it has some, ooh. Okay, I don't know if this is, I assume this is caramel, obviously. There's some caramel, some cream cheese frosting, and the cake is like apple cider flavor. All right, let me actually try the cake just itself. Let's just try the cake by itself. Why must you go? I have to go back to my family in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom? Who cares about your family? That's who I am. But I can't. All my work and my school is there. Ah! Well, since you're here with me, let's make it last. She is dripping on my lip. Oh my god, you guys. This would honestly be like even good with just the cake itself. This cake is so moist. It tastes like wet for some reason. So the cake is amazing, absolutely. Even just the cake and the caramel, it tastes like, oh, shit. Oh my God, she's filled. Oh my God, she's exploding. Another girl was getting it in front of me and she asked the worker if he liked the cake and he was like, oh, you know, it is really good, but it's super sweet. I like sweet things. That worker was right. Uh, I need to wash this down. <coughs> oh my God. You guys, this cake is really freaking good. It is super sweet though. So it's like, obviously I probably could eat this all, but it's one of those cakes where they're so sweet. It's like, you can't, you can't get away with eating it all. This also tastes really folly. This tastes like a damn fall pumpkin spice candle. This isn't pumpkin spice though. I've tried the pumpkin spice one and it's phenomenal. This is really appley, really caramelly, really cinnamon apple flavor. So if you don't like cinnamon apple flavor, you're not gonna like this. But this tastes like a damn, like a Glade air freshener. <laughs> I don't know what an apple fritter tastes like, but if I had to think I would say this tastes like an apple fritter. If I were nothing but cakes, I would hell with it and take off this cream cheese frosting because she doesn't need all that, okay? You know, they're, they're taking a naturally beautiful woman. She's beautiful with just the cake herself, just the cake her damn self. And you know what they're doing with her? They're throwing on all this foundation, throwing on all this contouring, you know, giving her a nose job. She doesn't need all that, you know? Stick with the lashes, the caramel lashes. Okay, stick with that. Stick with maybe some crumble on top. Don't give her a nose job with this white cream cheese frosting. You know, you're doing too much. She doesn't need all that. And I know she's leaving in two weeks, but don't let those little peasants shame you when you go back home and tell you you need your nose job. You don't. Anyways, you guys. Um. This cake was really good. I really liked it so, so much. This caramel apple cider. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. This is really good. It is really sweet. So if you're one of those people that are like, I don't like this. It's just too sweet. You're not going to like this. You're not going to like it. I would suggest getting the pumpkin spice one. It's less sweet, obviously. It's, it's what this should be, honestly. Um, this is so good with the caramel though. Oh my God, they really effed it up. 
They really put their damn foot in this, you guys. Yeah, this drink is expensive, you guys. I just got it today because they're two for $10. If you were to get this normally, this venti is like $7.50 or $7.25. I don't know, but that's a lot of money. So yeah, I would want it stirred up and you better not mess it up. That is really good. This nothing but apple cider cake tastes really good. It is super sweet. It's like the cake is moist as hell. If you can, I would ask them if they could get it um, without the cream cheese frosting. I'm pretty sure they could do that, by the way. So, ah, uh, but look, look at how moist this cake is, you guys. Let me just show you. Ah, uh, you can't even tell, but she's fallen off the damn bone. Like, ooh, you don't see any crumbles, Coral. You don't see any crumbles with her. Okay, I have to go before I get catnapped. And thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my lenses crafted. This is what I, should I get new frames? These are my glasses currently. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye.